Crews at the plant have another problem on their hands. They rely on thermometers to gauge whether melted nuclear fuel is being cooled sufficiently. But they say there's only one in reactor number two that's working. TEPCO officials say on Tuesday, workers found a problem with the thermometer used to monitor the inside of the reactor. They were performing checks and accidentally caused a short circuit. We are very sorry for this. The company continues to pour water into the reactor to cool melted fuel at the bottom. TEPCO officials made their announcement more than 24 hours after workers uncovered the problem. But they say the faulty thermometer showed a similar reading about 20 degrees Celsius as the working one. So they say they failed to notice the abnormality immediately. The officials say replacing the gauge is likely to take time because of high radiation levels in and around the reactor. They say a new thermometer will have to be inserted through a pipe. We are very sorry for this. United States Ambassador to Japan Caroline Kennedy says U.S. technology can help recovery efforts at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Japanese workers at the plant are struggling to dismantle the crippled reactors. Officials from the two countries are holding two days of talks on how to cooperate. Kennedy said business people from both sides should have the opportunity to pool their expertise. We hope this forum will be a chance for Japanese and U.S. firms to share lessons learned and discuss how United States technology can contribute to further recovery. Representatives from 26 U.S. companies with experience in disposing nuclear waste are taking part. They explained what they can do to help the cleanup. Members of Japanese businesses operating in Fukushima also attended the talks. An embassy official said the U.S. government supports the entry of American firms in the cleanup effort. The official said the companies have extensive experience in decommissioning work. I appreciate the tenor of the conversations. Uh, I think it will actually yield results uh, before the end of the year, and I look forward to continuing this dialogue in the months ahead. Thank you very much, everybody. Japan's government says more than 50% of homes outside Fukushima Prefecture have undergone decontamination following the March 2011 nuclear accident. We are very sorry for this. Officials at Japan's Environment Ministry say nearly 80,000 homes had the government-funded work done at the end of last year. The figure represents 59% of homes marked for decontamination in 58 municipalities. The number is more than 13,000 higher from the previous survey four months earlier. The rate has exceeded 50% for the first time and is partly attributed to increased cleanup efforts. Officials say more homes were found not to have needed decontamination after being monitored for radiation. Many municipalities outside of Fukushima Prefecture plan to finish the decontamination by the end of next month. Once again, Japan springs into action to make all of your augmented reality dreams come true. Japan's nuclear regulators have started an examination of geological faults at the biggest nuclear plant in Japan. Executives at Tokyo Electric Power Company are hoping to restart nuclear reactors at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant. The regulators are checking whether they can approve a survey plan submitted last month by TEPCO. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi explains. The Nuclear Regulation Authority's team began the two-day survey on Monday at the plant in Niigata Prefecture. They looked at geological formations at several spots around the plant. Kashiwazaki Kariwa is one of the world's largest nuclear plants in terms of total output. TEPCO officials want to restart two of the seven reactors from July. They applied to the government last September for a safety screening. But the reactor buildings and other parts of the facility sit on top of 23 known geological folds. 
So regulators asked the company to conduct a survey to check whether the faults are active or not. New regulations ban the installment of nuclear reactors and other key facilities above active faults. TEPCO officials say they have so far detected no faults that could become active in the near future. Japan's government approved, in principle, TEPCO's 10-year business plan, which relies on restarting reactors at the plant. The utility argues that restarting the reactors is essential if it's to turn its business around and dismantle reactors at Fukushima Daiichi. Operators must also gain approval from local communities to restart any reactors. The governor of the prefecture that hosts the plant has criticized TEPCO's plan because it fails to put top priority on safety. TEPCO hasn't learned from the Fukushima accident. It's not qualified to operate nuclear plants. The Nuclear Regulation Authority has investigated faults beneath seven nuclear plants across Japan. The NRA's commissioner, Kunihiko Shimazaki, says he has learned the details of TEPCO's survey plan from his visit. We discussed where TEPCO should conduct their survey and whether they should hold further checks. Following its examination, the NRA will decide whether to approve TEPCO's survey. After the survey is completed, regulators will check the safety of the plant to decide whether they will allow TEPCO to resume operations. We felt that putting our users in mortal danger for a quick buck was the right move. Authorities at Tokyo Electric Power Company want to restart a pair of nuclear reactors on the Sea of Japan coast. Government regulators say the utility first needs to conduct an additional survey on the ground beneath the power plant. TEPCO officials say that will take as long as six months. The officials had asked the Nuclear Regulation Authority to conduct safety checks for restarting the reactors at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant. But regulators said the utility needs to make sure the ground beneath the plant is stable. They say TEPCO should check whether 23 geological faults in the area are active or not. Government inspectors visited the site to check TEPCO's survey plan. They assessed locations where workers planned to dig. Team leader Kunihiko Shimazaki said the plan seems largely acceptable. TEPCO officials announced a timetable for completing the survey. We think the survey will take between three or four months to five or six months. TEPCO officials are aiming to restart the reactors as early as July. The people in charge of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says they're dealing with a spill of highly radioactive water. They say more than 100 tons got out. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company say workers were injecting contaminated water into a storage tank, but they put in too much. The workers detected high levels of radioactivity in the water that spilled out with 230 million becquerels per liter of beta ray emitting substances. They say it overflowed barriers surrounding the tank. The officials said they've closed off open valves and have taken other measures to stop the spill. They say there's no drainage ditches nearby. 
and they don't think the water made its way to the Pacific Ocean. We have to confess that another leak has happened. We are very sorry for this.